Hello and welcome to War of Tanks with the Wolf. Today I'm going to be showing you a video of command or uh, backseat commanding. This replay right here I did a long time ago, and this is pretty much backseat driving, or I mean backseat commanding. But since I don't know how to fast forward it, we're gonna have to get, you know, try and you know work for the video, and I'll show you which direction I went. And so I'm gonna go ahead and play it. Whoops. Oops. See, as I said, I'm trying to I'm trying to work this thing out. Okay, there we go. But anyway, the direction I'm going now is south, where all the foxes are, because I pretty much hold down there. I, I couldn't have gone north, but then again, I probably need like a couple of heavies to go down there, because most of them are pretty much mediums, light tanks, and tank destroyers that go down that way. So I decided why not and I'll go that way. By the way, if you ever pay attention that there will be some bugs going on in this replay. So anyway, I'm coming up to my destination. We got a T49 right in front of me. Right where I probably wanted to be, but I'm not sure. sure. No, I decided to go around them. Okay. But we have an E50 right there. I'm like, okay. We're good right there, and the bulldog is trying to get a one now without dying. So, we, um, ooh, big hit from the E50. That's a big ma major damage roll. He decided to pop out, so I finished. Now, we had some enemy tanks down that road, so I decided to turn that way. My guns were loaded, and that window right there got me an opportunity to chance to shoot at the tiger. I'm trying to make sure I can still see him through the window. So I pull up some. And repeat the process. Hopefully, I can shoot through the window. But as you can see now, I did not realize it because there was a dead T-34 right there. Took a hit, but nothing critical. Now there's another Tiger 2 that wants in on the act. Well, I didn't realize, as you see on the map, somehow a medium tank got around, but I really didn't have to do with him. Aim, aim, pull the trigger. And it bounced! Then again, I'm carrying a 105 gun. I, I'm somewhat semi-stock, but I wish I had something more. That one bounced again. He was well slow to in there. If I can pull him sniper. Oh, and I finished him off though. So I'm reloading. I'm pointing out, hey, we're about to be capped. I point point out the sector. And, well, nothing happened yet. We're, we're up nine six though. So. What I'm trying to do now is go down this road, take out any enemy tanks that appear along the way. And all of a sudden came a lightweight and you know, it, was, it bounced. I'm like, whoa, how did that happen? So next, uh, next I'm trying to keep an eye on that light tank. He seemed to be going around, so me and this ISU. 122 decided, hell, we'll turn around. And pretty much right here, and this is my mistake, I kind of had an itchy trigger finger at the time. But right here, we, we, we were just playing... <laughs> we're just playing sniper right here, but I got shot in the, behind by the leopard boat right there. So I decided to move up and get off the road. I didn't track. I don't know if he did damage to me. So I wait. I wait. I waited. And oh, it was green. Oh, come on. And I'm dead. Try to zoom in here. Try to keep the And I got tracked again, but this time. No damage. It only ate my tracks. 
We're up 13-11. And he did that so he can get away. Look at him go. I'm like, dang. Now here comes the mistake I made. I don't know how I did it and why. I'm just watching him. Make sure he stays put. Unless he wants to do something to do. And I did call out for help, but... I realized on the map... They're all there. And that's where I made my mistake. I pulled the trigger while he was standing still. So I'll try to back up. Reload. I'm like, come on. Come on, reload. reload. And... It bounced again! <laughs> this is a 105 gun going off the light tank. And I'm like, what the hell? So, yep, he was able to get away. Uh, we're capping, by the way. And I feared that he was going to go for a cap. So this is why I made my decision. I made a decision. Hell, I might as well go back to base and try to defend it. But somehow, you'll see that light tank again on the map here shortly. So, I'm like near our base. And I decided, uh, well... Maybe I might as well go back to the cat. Of course, then I realized throughout, throughout, I'm like, well, the AT's cat thing. And that Sherman, and there he goes, he's dead. The super Persian, actually. And I saw him coming to, looks like he was going north, and that made me fear, oh shoot, I need to go to the base. But then he disappeared. And this is where it all went downhill. I I told him no, I should defend the base just in case he try to get there, but this is where it all started. All of a sudden I found a good position to defend. So I'm like, hmm, I'll be right here. And they say I'm a bot. I'm like, no I'm not. I'm making it I made a decision. And all of a sudden, boom, he pops on the map. I'm like, well, I mean, it's too late. I'm a slow tank. I might as well just defend. So, yeah. AT. That AT down there, he, he was able to put it penetration in him, but somehow he must have got flanked. So, he got outflanked. And here, here, come, here comes... See? He called me a dumbass, and yes, it's your tank. And I'm like, yeah, I made a call. This is, my, this is my decision. I made that call. I rather risk defending the base. And see, as I said in chat, every time I listen to others, I die. And sometimes when I don't listen to others, I still <laughs> die. <laughs> so, yep, the lightweight was able to take care of the AT-15, and all of a sudden, yep, there he goes. He's saying you're a freaking asshole, and the other one decided to pull up the one way because he has XVM. I'm like, yeah, I don't care. So, just sitting here, I'm in a good position. I got two ways to look at. As you can see, my left and my right. And if he ever caps, I can pop, he won't see me until I pop right here. So I decided to get along the wall a little bit better. Angle my armor a bit. And the KV-3 was actually standing up to me. He said, stop playing. And I'm like, no, I'm not stop playing. I love tanks. And here we go again, all the rating. I say it because it's, it's just a dang game. I mean, come on. We're supposed to have fun when we're playing games. It's not like it's, like, I don't know, maybe dot hack sign or some sort. So I'm looking my, back and forth, back and forth. He's like, okay, play the win. Well, yeah, watch. Maybe Star Tier is more speed than the... This is a team game. Okay, whatever. Shut up. 
Looks like I did get spotted, so he's like, oh, I'll go this way, and this is what happened. It bounced! But he bounced off of me and returned shot. So, boom. I'm concentrating. I'm, I did not, I did not focus on the chat. So, and I see him going right there. I was like, oh, yeah, I need to aim right there, and there's nothing I can do. I was completely protected. He can't hit my commander's edge. And once again, boom, boom. You just say, please kill E75. First of all, you're not using the team chat. And all of a sudden, when I moved, all of a sudden he started moving. I was like, oh, opportunity. Focus. Boom! There he goes, and he, he's dead. Man, that was one heck of a game that, I mean, I had plenty of health. And... Look at that, just plenty of health. I may have a damage fuel tank. I may have tracks blown off. But it was I was able to finally kill him. Um if I can rewind it here. Oh. Yeah, no. Oh, okay, here we go. I can't believe that happened. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna go to sniper view. So here I am looking at him, then all of a sudden I saw him turn around. Turn around, turn around, turn around, and right there. I got lucky. Right where I needed to hit him. And he goes boom. So yeah. Backseat commanding. What what do you think? I mean, do you think I made a right call at the same time? Do you think I did a bad call? Go ahead and make your comment about it. I mean, I do love criticism, so please put your comment down there. I mean, discuss it on, on my comment page and hope and see how you think. I mean, did I really make a good call? Did I really make a good hold down position? Or do you think I shouldn't have helped the 1815? I mean, I like some criticism, but when I'm playing, I make the call. It's my decision, and you do the same thing with you, you your own. If you think they think or they think they know if we're gonna win if you go do this, all of a sudden you end up losing. Well, that makes you wonder. What will you do if you made your decision on your own? So comment, rate, subscribe. What do you what do you think? So wherever you enjoy playing, have fun. Remember it's just a game. You don't have you don't have to do uh follow anyone's opinion but hopefully you learn something from this so take care and see you out in the battlefield